Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time, and in my last video I mentioned how I was going to try to be more consistent with my videos, but that didn't happen. But good news is today I am here to bring you a fitness slash health video for those of you who are interested or looking to gain weight. I know we are usually the minority um, in the fitness world, but there are some of us who do want to add on some extra pounds. So in this video, I am going to give you some tips and steps that I took that allowed me to gain 30 pounds in only four months. So if you're interested to hear how I did this, then keep watching. Okay, so my number one tip is eat. You have to, have to, have to eat. I would suggest getting yourself either a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or some sort of device that helps you track your calories so you can figure out how many calories you burn just in your regular everyday life, um, just doing your normal day-to-day -day activities without including exercise or anything like that. And then based on that, you can then determine how many calories you need to eat because you always, in order to gain weight, you need to eat more calories than what you're burning daily, which can be very difficult, especially for thinner people. Um, either you just don't get hungry that often or you get full very quickly, so you end up not eating that much, which I completely understand because I was one of those people. Um, but there are ways to just make sure that those times you do eat, you're eating a lot of calories for foods that have a lot of protein, good source of protein, good source of calories, good source of fat, so that um, those few meals that you do eat throughout the day, you're pretty much bulking in all that you need um, to be in a caloric surplus, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's my number one, number one tip is you have to eat. Now, to help myself with this, because like I said, this was something that I struggled with, is I my mom bought me a Fitbit, so I was able to track my calories. I also downloaded the MyFitnessPal app, which is a great app because it allows you to input the foods that you're eating daily and then how much, how many calories are in each of those foods. So then you are, it's easy for you to track how many calories you're eating, how many, where you're at that day, how much more you need to eat or what your caloric goal is for that week. And maybe like by Wednesday, you're only a few calories away. So then, you know, you can be, go a little lax Thursday through Sunday or if by Thursday you realize that you're, you haven't eaten that much that so you know you need to kind of bulk it up a little bit for the rest of the week in order to meet um, your caloric goal. But in addition to my Fitbit and the MyFitnessPal app, something else that I did, I purchased to help me track these calories was a food scale. So this is the food scale that I purchased. It's a little dirty. <laughs> um, but I ordered this off of Amazon. And I used this in the beginning of my weight gain journey to measure out all of my meals, like my main meals that I was going to be eating regularly, so that I knew what my portion sizes needed to be for those meals in order for me to hit my caloric goal um, for each day. Now, I will also say with doing this, I also meal prepped, which can be some, somewhat tedious and um, boring because usually when you meal prep you're eating the same meals daily. I would usually meal prep on Sundays and I would do two meals, um, prepare two different meals and then I would eat those two meals for the entire week. So I would just alternate one for lunch, one for dinner and the next day have the opposite. Whatever I had for lunch the day before I would have for dinner the next day and um, vice versa. So I would pick whatever meals I thought were going to give me the most calories prepare those on Sundays, meal prep them, put them in my packages. I just got some containers, some meal prep containers at Target. Like they literally said meal prep um, on the front of the containers. Very cheap. Um, and I think I got maybe 12 in a pack. I don't have them anymore because when I moved, um, the box accidentally got thrown away. <laughs> but, um, and I, honestly, I don't meal prep anymore anyway. But in the beginning I did and I would measure off my food, like I said, to make sure I knew exactly what my portion size is needed to be for each um, container that I put the food in so that I knew I was getting enough calories with each meal in order to meet my caloric goal. Um, again, I'll link this food scale down below, but there's like a million on Amazon that you can purchase. This one's pretty easy um, and you do have to do like a little math with it, but I'm not a math person, so if I was able to do it, anyone will be able to do it. But uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend a food scale. Okay, the next thing that I did, um, or the next tip or step I took was protein shakes. So because I am a mom of two children, I work a full-time job, I am busy. Sometimes I don't, especially when I did it meal prep, I don't have time to keep stopping and preparing all these meals and snacks and whatnot. I'm just constantly on the go. 
So protein shakes are a really good substitute for um, a meal or a snack because you can, it's a lot of protein packed and touch a small thing and then it's a liquid, it's a beverage. So it's easier to drink something sometimes than it is if you're feeling kind of full or you're not that hungry than it is to actually eat a full meal. Um, at the end of this video, I will show you how to make the protein shake that I was drinking consistently. I really don't drink them anymore. Um, I did it for like maybe the first three months of my weight gain journey. And then after that, I feel like I didn't need it because I felt like I was eating enough where I didn't need the protein um, shake as a supplement. But I highly suggest it in the beginning just to kind of get yourself going. And it's a quick way to get those extra calories in and that protein in. Um, but again, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I will show you the shake that I made um, so that you can try it yourself. My next tip is your mental health. So I noticed that I was constantly stressed out. There were a multitude of things that were causing me to be stressed. And when I'm stressed, I definitely don't have an appetite and then I lose a lot of weight. So I had to figure out ways to focus on my mental health so that I wasn't so stressed out. And, the, and once I did that and I stopped being stressed in my day to day, I noticed that it was easier for me to then want to eat and have meals, which then means that by eating more, I'm eating more calories, which then helps me gain weight and actually keep the weight on. And then my next tip is exercise. <laughs> so I know that sounds kind of crazy. It's like, well, if I'm trying to gain weight, why would I want to exercise? Because I don't want to lose anything. But I got a personal trainer last year. No, we're in 2021. I got a personal trainer in 2019. And I trained with him through 2019 and the beginning of 2020 until everything got shut down. Really helpful because within working with him, he was able to show me how to do exercises properly so that when things did shut down, I was able to continue um, working out from home to a certain extent because um, I don't have all the equipment, of course, that they have in the gym. But then at least I knew what I was actually doing and what exercises would be beneficial to, to me and my goals. So I don't do or didn't do um, and still don't a lot of cardio because cardio is usually for when you're trying to lose weight. So my focus is, is strength training, um, so a lot of weightlifting, a lot of comp compound movements, um, anything to help me build muscle because in addition to, you know, fat, you kind of want to build muscle and muscle weighs more than fat, which will help you um, get those pounds on. So you, I highly, highly, highly recommend working out because in addition to um, just gaining that muscle, if you're eating a lot um, and if you do it consistently and you start to gain the weight, you want to make sure that you're not going to gain the weight in areas that you don't want the weight. So for example, in your gut, you don't want to then all of a sudden have this huge stomach or these like super flabby arms. Um, so it's important that while you're also working to gain the weight that you're exercising so that you can be sure that you're maintaining or trying to help where the weight is going. Um, but I can do another video if you guys want that shows the workouts that I do uh, to help with me to make sure that I don't, I'm not losing the weight but I'm actually just trying to strength train and gain muscle. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in me doing that type of video. Also I could do another video that shows what I eat in a day so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I eat on my, in my day to day that, and the type of meals that I choose, um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then my snacks that also have contributed to my massive weight gain. Okay, now let's get into the protein shake that um, I was drinking for the first two months, which tr helped me tremendously. I would say um, I gained my first 20 pounds when drinking this, and then again, afterwards, after the first like two and a half months, three months, I kind of um, weaned myself off of the protein shake just because I felt like I didn't really need it anymore. I was eating enough on my own with just my normal meals. And plus, protein kind of gives me ugh, protein gas. So I really didn't like that either, but I would highly suggest it in the beginning and kind of until you get your groove with your meals and um, you're able to get yourself disciplined and consistent um, with your eating because Another tip I probably should have added in is consistency. If you're not consistent, then you're just it's not going to happen for you at all. And trust me, I know because I've done 15,000 weight gain journeys over the years and have never been successful. And then finally, um, this last time I was, but it was because I was determined, I was disciplined, and I was consistent. 
But okay, so first thing you're gonna need is a blender. This is just the Ninja blender. I think it's like an older model. I've had this for years now. Um, so just any type of blender. Next, you're gonna need some type of liquid. I like to use um, just original um, almond milk, but you can use um, any, you can use regular milk if that's what you choose. You can use, um, what is it, rice milk, I think that people drink, and goat milk, or you could even just use water if, I think my sister, she makes shakes, and I think she just uses water for hers. But I like to use the almond milk for mine, just because obviously almond milk is gonna give me some extra calories that water wouldn't. So, first thing I do is pour the almond milk in. I pour about a cup in, and usually this will give me about two shakes. So I'll have one after my workout, and then um, protein shakes are really good after you do a workout. I one after my workout, and then I'll have one later in the day um, as a snack. Next, you will need some type of protein source. So this is the Serious Mass protein. I've also really tried the Women's Best Vanilla Flavor Protein. That one's good as well. I feel like this one bulks me up a little bit more, but um, any protein uh, powder will work. It's either I either go for this one or the Women's Best one. And this usually, it, the directions for this one says two cups, and this is the cup that it comes with, but that's just a lot. A protein for me um, and I find that I don't get through my shake when I do that so I usually just do one cup and then to give you an idea oh this is just the vanilla flavor because I don't like chocolate <laughs> um, but to give you an idea how many it has how many calories sorry oh okay so there's 1,200, 1,250 calories per shake, um, but that's if you do the two scoops. So I'm only doing one scoop, so it's just half of that. But that's a lot of calories. Okay. Next, you're gonna need some type of fruit. Um, I like to use strawberries. Strawberries are my favorite. And then I also like to use mangoes. I just buy the frozen um, in the bag fruit for this. Uh, of course, fresh fruit is always best, but I prefer fresh fruit if I'm having like a fruit salad or something. And a smoothie, I'm about to grind it up anyway. I don't care whether it's frozen. Um, you can also, if you like your protein shakes to be a little bit greener, you can add some type of, what do people like to put in there? Like kale. I don't like kale, but like something kale or spinach in your smoothie as well. I'm not big on green smoothies, so I don't have that. And I don't have like a certain measure of how many, of how much fruit I add. I kind of just add it <laughs> until I think that it's enough. I 
add some type of nut butter. Normally I do almond butter, but I'm completely out of almond butter right now, so I'm just gonna use um, regular peanut butter. And I just do like a huge scoop. Ooh, get dig it. Lastly, I add a you want yogurt, um, you can use any type of yogurt you want. I like the Yoplait Original Strawberry Yogurt. I know a lot of people like Greek yogurt, um, so you can add that in as well. And then you can do any flavor you want. Like I said, I like my smoothie to be kind of strawberry, because um, that's my favorite flavor. So that's why I choose strawberry yogurt. So if you're thinking about looking at all the stuff that I'm adding, each of these items, um, either it's a good source of protein or um, for the source of fat. So that is why I choose this combination. Put the lid on. Power it up and hit the lid. super blended because I don't like when it's more um, watery consistent. I like when it's a little thick, kind of like a milkshake. Good. Ugh. Pour it in. Let's see. Ooh la la. Mm, I'm not sure you guys the consistency. Hopefully you can kind of See, mm, that's not working. <laughs> this might work better. But you see how it's kind of thick, so it's like a milkshake consistency. And then this will be enough for my shake later. So I'll have this one. Um, as soon as I finish with this video, I'm going to go and work out. So this one is my workout. It's already cold because the fruit was cold, but I like to put it in the fridge because I like it to stay cold. I don't particularly care for them when they're room temperature. And I'm just going to pour the rest into my women's vest. one later with my afternoon snack but I'll put this in the fridge as well so that is how you make my infamous protein shake which was probably the main component in helping me gain my weight um, I don't know if I mentioned before at the beginning of this video but I started off at 110 pounds and now I am at 140 pounds I'll actually um, insert some pictures somewhere around here so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what um, I was looking like at the start of this versus now. Um, I may start drinking these again more regularly only because I'm trying to gain like 10 more pounds. Um, people are like, Morgan, you're crazy, you need to gain 10 more pounds. But I think I want to gain 10 more pounds just so that as my, if my weight fluctuates, I have like wiggle room. Um, but I've kind of been at a standstill at 140 for a while. So it's either start drinking more protein shakes or start drinking my protein shakes again. Or I might have to get back some meal prepping um, just to make sure that I am eating a good amount of calories with each meal. Because maybe I'm slacking a bit. Um, <laughs> do you hear my children? <laughs> Um, anywho, but if, if you have any questions or if you are interested in me doing a workout video or what I eat in a day video, please leave a comment below and let me know. Please thumbs this up if you like this video. And as always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.
one, if you're wondering who was making all that noise during my video, it was this guy right here. <laughs> right? Were you screaming during mommy's video? Yeah. Can you say hi. Hi. You gonna wave? You shy, you know, you can shy. Yeah. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tell them? What's your name? You gotta look at the camera. Go ahead. What's your name? Caleb and Denise. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>